today, learners of Davao de Oro. How are you feeling today? I hope that you are in good condition despite of the pandemic that we are experiencing right now. I am teacher Ruby May Hatagi Marabulas, your science teacher from Napunturan Central Elementary School SPED Center, Napunturan West District. Are you ready for another learning episode in science? Please be on your most comfortable learning place. Prepare your module and your pen. Today, we will learn about force and motion. We are going to describe the reference point of an object. Are you all ready? Now, let us start. Let us have first a quick exercise. Please open your module on page 2 and let's answer what I know. Direction. Write the letter of the correct answer in your answer sheet. I will give you 5 seconds to answer each question. Number 1. Which shows that the boy is at the back of the door? What is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Number 2. Describe the position of the ball. A. The ball is on the table. B. The ball is under the table. C. The ball is behind the table. D. The ball is in front of the table. What is your answer? You got it right! The correct answer is letter A. The ball is on the table. Number 3. Mika is standing under the Talisay tree near the waiting shed of the school. Mika's position is A. Near the Talisay tree B. Under the Talisay tree C. Over the waiting shed D. Under the waiting shed The correct answer is Excellent! The correct answer is letter B under the Talisay tree. Number four. Two kittens are playing near the gate of the school garden. The reference point is the A. Gate B. Kitten C. Garden D. School Great! The correct answer is letter A. Eight. Number five. How can the girl move her friend on a swing? She can do it by A. Kicking B. Pushing C. Throwing D. Stretching Awesome! The answer is letter B. Pushing. Did you get the perfect score? Excellent! What is a reference point? It is very important to know the position or movement of an object or person. Let's find out more in this lesson. We learned in the previous lessons that living things like plants and animals interact with non-living objects 
like air, sunlight, and other things in the environment. They move because of the energy they have. Energy is related to force. Objects have energy that give them force in moving. Every day, we do our daily activities because we have energy that gives us power to move. Now, open your module on page 5. Study the illustrations and answer the following questions. Number 1. The girl at the right side of Yam Yam is... Yes! The girl at the right side of Yam Yam is Asel. Number 2. Fumiya is at the top of... Very good! Fumiya is at the top of Yam Yam. Number 3. Sajid is at the side of Yam Yam. Awesome! Sajid is at the left side of Yam Yam. Number 4. Mimi is positioned below Yam Yam. The reference point is... Excellent! Mimi is positioned below Yam Yam. The reference point is Yam Yam. Last question. If Mimi, Sajid, Pumiya, and Asil will move one place clockwise, who will be at the top of Yam Yam? Very good! If Mimi, Sajid, Pumiya, and Asil will move one place clockwise, who will be at the top of Yam Yam? The answer is Sajid. In describing the position of an object, we should always have a reference point or reference object. Most of the time, it is a fixed object like building, landmark, plant, or other stationary objects. The position of an object can be determined by locating its position relative to a reference point or object. It is important to use it in describing the position of another object. Flip your module to page 6. Let us answer activity 1. Where am I? Direction. Describe the position of the following by choosing the correct word in the parentheses. I will give you enough time to answer the activity. Write your answer on your paper. Your time starts now. Time is up. Now, let us check your answer. For number one, the girl is standing between a fence and a tree. The correct answer is between. For number two, the boy stands behind the sofa. The correct answer is behind. For number three, the cat is sleeping under the lampshade. The correct answer is under. Let us answer activity 2. On page 7, finding me. Directions. Find the reference object to describe the position of other objects 
shown in the picture. Choose your answer from the list of words below. Are you ready? Very good! Let us start! Time is up. Let us check your responses. Number one. The correct answer is on. The cat is on the chair. Number two. What is your answer? Very good. It can be in or inside. Put the scissors in or inside the box. For number three, the right word is on. The books are on the table. Number four, the correct answer is under. Get the slippers under the table and for the last item number five what do you think is the right answer excellent the correct answer is between the dog is between the table and chair did you get a perfect score you are really learning. Now, flip your module to page 8 and let us answer what I have learned. Still, write your answer in your notebook and we are going to check it later on. Directions. Complete the following sentences. Write the correct answer in your notebook. Number one. The position of an object can be determined by locating its position relative to. What is the answer? Excellent! Reference point or object. Number two. It is important to use a reference object to describe the of another object. It makes it easy to locate an object. The answer is awesome! You got it right! The correct answer is position. Very good, kids! We are halfway on our discussion. Let us proceed to page 8 and answer what I can do. What you are going to do is to describe the position of the objects shown in the picture. Write the correct answer in your notebook. Number 1. The cat is sleeping on the. Number two. The is at the right side of the large box. Number three. The flower vase is at the bookshelf. Number four. The shirt is hung at the back of the. Number five. The are placed under the lampshade. Are you done, kids? Well, let us check your answers.
or number one? What is the correct answer? Very good! The answer is the cat is sleeping on the table. For number two, the answer is the ball is at the right side of the large box. For number three, the correct answer is the flower vase is at the top of the bookshelf. Number four, the right answer is the shirt is hung at the back of the door. And for number five, what do you think is the answer? Awesome! The answer is the books are placed under the lampshade. Now, let's wrap up all the things we learned today. In describing the position of an object, we should always have a reference point or reference object. The position of an object can be determined by locating its position relative to a reference point or object. Since you are able to answer all the activities, it is assessment time. Turn your module to page 9. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Do not write anything on the module. Analyze each item carefully. Connect the picture in column A with its description in column B. Choose the letter of the correct answer. on the scheduled date for retrieval of modules. Kids, we are about to end our lesson. And for the additional activities, you can find it on page 10, activity 3, fill me, and page 11, activity 4, locate me, of your module. Read the direction carefully. Happy watching everyone and have a fun and exciting learning activities to make. This is your teacher on TV, Teacher Ruby May Hatagi Marabulas from Nabunturan Central Elementary School Sped Center, Nabunturan West District. Always remember, dito sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, Sama-sama. Bye-bye.